Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Oracle IAM Insights session today. My name is Sandeep Banerjee, Vice President of Product Development for Platform and Infrastructure Services, including Identity Management. I'll use the session today to summarize the general availability of Oracle Identity and Access Management 12 CPS4 April 2021 release, comprising of bundle patches and new microservices. Recently, our Senior Vice President of Identity and Access Management Development, Eleanor Merritt, announced the release in the Oracle Cloud Security Blog and Newsletter. For those who missed it, I encourage you to read it and subscribe to Oracle's Identity and Security Blogs for additional perspectives and insights. On the release topic, I'll be remiss if I don't remind ourselves and our customers that central to Oracle's strategy is the focus to respect our customers' identity and access journey and meet them with solutions that fit their individual needs. This release is a testament to our strategy as it offers our customers new and compelling solution choices. The release is an important milestone on two fronts. First, it includes key architectural enablers that allow delivery of major software content more frequently. Second, the release includes new microservices, feature enhancements, bug fixes, and performance optimization. Let me further expand on these milestones. Oracle has been in the IAM business for more than 20 years, and we have seen most, if not all. We have addressed numerous IAM use cases across the world's largest, most complex organizations for their most critical systems and applications. Oracle's strategy is to support our customers' IAM requirements in various deployment models across on-premises and cloud. Now, containers and microservices are important architectural constructs to enable that. Customers can uptake these containers and microservices as simple software updates quickly and with zero downtime. As you will recall, Oracle released the IAM containers for Oracle Access Management, Identity Governance, and Unified Directory in November 2020. These containers enable move of IAM workloads from a bare metal or a virtual machine-based installation to one better suited for multi-cloud and modern data center deployment. They are available for on-premises installation, as well as deployment in Oracle Cloud infrastructure, making it quick and easy to get up and running on the latest versions. Now with the April 2021 release, we are introducing new functionality as microservices. They are designed to augment existing Oracle IAM solutions, but they can also be used independently. The agility flexibility offered by these microservices give customers additional choices for their IAM modernization and cloud journeys. They are also the foundation for various upcoming Oracle IAM cloud native offerings, including Oracle's identity governance in the cloud. The three new microservices included in this release are Oracle Identity Role Intelligence, Oracle Advanced Authentication, and Oracle Radius Agent. With Oracle Identity Role Intelligence, customers will be able to optimize role provisioning and the principle of least privilege by leveraging machine learning against their current Oracle Identity Governance dataset. The service can mine roles from any flat file, data, databases, and third-party systems. The mining tasks to discover roles are visit-driven and based on users, applications, and entitlements. It supports automated publishing of candidate roles to Oracle Identity Governance, 
with subsequent new roles approval life cycle done in Oracle identity governance. With Oracle advanced authentications, customers will be able to enhance their Oracle multi-factor authentication solution with support for FIDO2, passwordless, and YubiKey factors. And with Oracle Radius Agent, customers would be able to expand their use of Oracle advanced authentication with databases, VPN, and SSH clients. It supports multi-factor authentication using Oracle Advanced Authentication and same user factor of FIDO Secure Key, TOTP, that can be used with no additional registration requirements. You can read more about the three microservices at the links that are mentioned here. It's important for you to note that these three microservices are included at no additional charge to all Oracle Enterprise Identity Services Suite customers. They're also available in different combinations, again, at no additional charge based on your current Oracle product entitlements. So we encourage you to review your specific situation with your Oracle sales representative and take this forward. Next, let me highlight some of the key enhancements in this release both at the product suite level and at the component level. At the suite level, we announced TLS 1.3 support, use of FIPS 140-2 cryptographic modules, IPv6 certification, ATPD database certification, and refresh of Docker and Kubernetes packages. At Oracle Identity Governance level, we released enhancements for certifications, segregation of duties, various connectors, usability, and one hop upgrade tooling. We also released new 12C REST connectors and APIs. At Oracle Access Management and Unified Directory level, we released the 12C web gates for Apache and IS web servers, session management enhancements for linear scalability, OAuth refresh token lifecycle across multiple data centers, REST API for performance metric, and key store and security enhancements. Together with the new microservices and the feature enhancements in this release, we are excited with the prospect of continuing to deliver differentiated value to our existing customers and making our portfolio a compelling choice for others considering Oracle IAM solutions. Existing Oracle IAM customers can accelerate the uptake of this release with the Oracle Identity and Access Management Upgrade Factory. As a reminder, the IAM Upgrade Factory is Oracle's investment and approach to help achieve a successful upgrade to the latest release and deploy it on premises in the cloud or in a hybrid model. You can learn more about the Upgrade Factory at the link provided on this slide. All in all, we are extremely confident in Oracle's ability to address virtually any IAM requirements across functional areas, deployment models, user types, targets, geography, and size of business. Our customers deserve choice, and we are confident in our ability to provide the most appropriate solution to address their unique situation. Before I conclude, I want to remind you to tune in to Oracle IAM Insights regularly, to learn what's new and exciting in Oracle's IAM portfolio, get tips to run your Oracle IAM infrastructure better, and to listen to your peers' experiences with Oracle's IAM solutions. Thank you again for tuning in today. We look forward to seeing you at the next one soon.